in Tuesday number two. Uh, Eric Slee, Powered by Design Fitness here at Metroflex Fargo. Um, and today we're going to talk about a form of lower cross syndrome called anterior pelvic tilt or lordosis. Um, to define this, this is when your flexors shorten and tighten and your extensors lengthen. By doing this, it takes and it tilts back your pelvis upward and your lower pelvis forward. Um, things that cause this. Uh, trying to keep proper posture while truck driving, uh, sitting at a desk working a computer, where you're trying to keep that lower back posture, but you're still sitting forward at an extended time. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the weak muscles, and the weak muscles in this case are your glutes, your hamstrings, and your abdominal muscles. And then we're going to uh, stretch strong muscles, or the, the tight muscles, which would be your flexor, flexors, your rectus, femoris, and your extensor muscles. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first exercise we're going to do is a basic glute bridge. So what we're going to do, we're going to lay down, supine on the floor, we're going to bring our feet up flat, bending our knees, uh, hands are face down, and what we're going to do is we're looking up at the ceiling. We're just going to simply extend our hips up and through to the point where we're contracting our glutes. And then back down, full range of motion. Make sure you're isolating and contracting your glutes. That's what we're trying to do here. Alright, now as a progressive exercise, something that we can do to st further strengthen our glutes is take a barbell and we're going to take a bench here. What we're going to do is we're going to sit and we're going to isolate our elbows down onto the bench, pad on the bar, bar evenly across our flexors. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to fully bring our hips down, push up and through until you're isolating and contracting your glutes. Back down. Up and through. Remember when doing this, when you're adding weight, you want to be able to control the bar. Because if you start to roll it down, you could injure yourself. Alright, another very basic exercise that we can do to help contract everything, keep everything even, get rid of imbalances, is a basic plank. So we'll come down, put our elbows down onto the ground. Extend our legs, we're going to elevate our body, we're going to keep a flat plane. Remember when we're doing this, we want to keep an even contraction between our back, our glutes, our abdominals, and we want to make sure that our shoulders and our hips are at an even horizontal plane, and then hold for time. Modification to help us with this as you're getting going is to bring it down to your knees, but make sure you still have that even plane from your knee up to your chest. So that means no mountains, no valleys. All right, another basic exercise that we can do to help strengthen our, our imbalances is a reverse crunch. So we're using this medicine ball as a counterweight. Bring it down. We're gonna hold it. We're going to bring our feet up, knees bent, feet flat on the ground, and as we're holding it, we're going to rotate. And remember as we're rotating, we're keeping everything the same. Another good way to do this, to make sure your form is correct, we'll just take and we'll put a foam roller between our ankles and the bottom of our glutes. So then that keeps us in a good steady form. We're going to take and rotate it up, and back down, up, and back down. One thing that you can do to further this exercise is bring the ball in towards your head, tilt your elbows upward, rotate your knees up to your elbows. Control it back. Remember, controlled movements. We don't want any ballistic style movements here. We want to control everything. Alright, 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way into some stretches. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to lengthen and loosen up those muscles that have been shortened and tight. So that's your psoas and your flexors, your rectus femoris, and your spinal erector muscles. So the first one we're gonna do is a lunge stretch. So we're gonna lunge deep. We're gonna push our hips in. Then after we do this, we're gonna further the stretch by bringing our arm up and over our head. Remember when we're doing these stretches, we need to progress. So as you're warming up, start with 20 seconds, then 40, then 60, and as you're becoming more loose, we're gonna go ahead and push out maybe to two minutes. Um, one thing you need to remember with these stretches is your exhales should be at least twice as long as your inhales. That way you're really loosening up your muscles as you go. So again, we're gonna stretch in, push our hip in, and we're gonna extend our arm over and it really opens up everything right in here. basic stretch that'll help us to loosen up everything in the front here, our flexors and our rectus femoris, is a basic quad stretch. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay face down on the ground. We're going to take and bring one foot up towards our glutes. We're going to grab right here at the ankle. We don't want to grab here because we're extending we can we can injure ourselves or you're just not going to get the stretch you want because you've got a lot of looseness here. So we're going to take it right here. We're going to bring it up. And as we're laying flat, we're going to try to take and push our knee up just a little bit to try to open that up a little bit more. And again, with the, just like the other stretches, start at 20 seconds, then go to 40, go to 60 and work your way up. And remember, exhale twice as long as inhale. Again, we're going to lay down, grab our ankle, and then as we bring our ankle up to our glute, we're going to just slightly raise up. All right, now we're going to go ahead and show you a couple more complex kind of hip buster uh, style movements here. Um, we're going to show you the pretzel and we're going to show you the pretzel 2.0. Um, both of these are a little more complex. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead, I took these and I set these out because these are the kind of the elevations that we're going to need our neck at and our knee to start with. We're going to go ahead and as we're laying down, we're going to extend this arm forward, laying our head down on this foam roller. Next, with this foot straight, we're going to bring this knee up. And from this point, we're going to take, we're going to bring this foot up. Grab your ankle again because we don't want to be grabbing our foot. We're going to ruin our stretch then. And then we're going to grab our knee right here. And then you're going to pull out a little bit. Once you've hit this position, all we're going to do is roll our shoulders inward and try to face them up towards the ceiling. This really opens up your flexors, hits your lower erectus or erectile muscles. Proper form is paramount for this because it is a more complex stretch. We don't want you hurting yourself. Now, one other form is called the Bretzel 2.0. And this is a little bit different because we're not using that stuff. What we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna find and make a 90 with our leg here and a 90 with our leg here. Then we're gonna take, we're gonna put our hand here, we're gonna try to square our shoulders. Lastly, we're gonna take this hand, put it underneath this hand, and then we're going to lean in. This really opens things up also. So again, Bretzel 2.0, 90-90, take and rotate our shoulders forward. Once we've done that, hand under hand and lean into your shoulder. Bretzel number one. One more time. Arms straight up, head down on foam roller, knee up to foam roller. Extend back, grab your lower leg with your upper arm, your upper leg with your lower arm. And then once you have this in place, roll your shoulder back and look up at the ceiling.
All right, a few little side notes. Um, just some other things we can look for when we're doing our, our basic exercises. Um, for one, foam roller is always a great thing to do. Isolate your leg, apply weight, roll the entire length of your muscle, and focus on the spots that seem tighter than the other one. Um, also, when, whenever you're doing any sort of exercise, full range of motion. Full range of motion will always help prevent imbalances. Um, also with your primaries, when you're doing a deadlift, when you're doing a squat, make sure as you're standing up straight, you're pushing your hip through to the point where you're activating your glutes. Um, this will help also prevent your anterior pelvic, pelvic tilt. And um, lastly, distance walking. Walking with good posture will even out the imbalances within your muscles. So along with these, and what I've showed you today, um, these are some few things that you can do to help prevent and get rid of anterior pelvic tilt or low doses. Um, I want to say thank you to Ty, I want to say thank you to John and AJ, uh, thank you to Metroplex Fargo for this awesome facility. You guys have a great day. Peace.